Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about the Toy Notch Astrobot Hyperion, or it's Hyperion. It's weird because it has a different type of spelling. But either way, just like with Vulcan, just like with Argus, just like with Athenia, I absolutely love the Astrobot stuff. It is one of those things where it is super crazy articulation meets really cool robots. It's two of my favorite things. So, you know, it's one of those things where I, I was expecting it to be pretty much the same as Vulcan, but there are some slight differences. One of the things I want to talk about is that his joints are extremely tighter than that of Vulcan's. So if you are scared to move something around, I suggest you heat it up. Uh, be careful because there's batteries up here. So I would say definitely hit it with some, uh, like a blow dryer instead of doing the hot water technique. You don't want to dump electronics on water, obviously. But yeah, if we just take an outright look at your main man, Hyperion, he, yo, this this thing goes hard in the paint. I love the color scheme. I love the layout, and I love the Vulcan. So I'm I'm absolutely in like here for this. His arm difference is, is crazy because we have like the piston rocket arms. We have the really cool ventilation here. We have the articulated fingers. I left one hand up so you can see just how cool it kind of is. Just looking really sturdy and cool. One of the things I want to talk about: you take LR LR four one batteries. You can push this button here on the back right there in the middle and we'll have some light up LEDs there you push it again and it actually does the pulsating lights right that's actually pretty cool I don't think Vulcan had that but I'm gonna double check that later then you push it again to go off now as far as the crazy amount of articulation you, I'm telling you you got to be careful because the joints are tight so you'll see just how crazy it is let's start out by showing that the upper arms here can extend out right so that means you, you have a ratchet that goes forward to protect yourself you have a ratchet to go backwards right and you can rotate all the way around you can push back in the big arm goes up and across it has a bicep swivel on its own it's it rotates all the way in so even the big arms can touch the waist look really cool and when you rotate them back in, like I said, be careful. We have that big old ratchet there. Then I'm gonna rotate up so you can see the fist, or should I say the hand? You can see the hands rotate out. They are articulated, even the thumb is. I do enjoy that you can rotate this. Oh, does this move? Hold on. Is this like a joint here? Okay, so I don't know if you can move that out, but that's actually, that's actually kind of cool. I didn't realize that before. So you have that and you can, when this rotates, it looks really, really cool. Right. And then I'm going to lift it up because I want you guys to see what the lower arms can do as we can have a pullout joint that extends the articulation here for our butterfly joint, goes backwards, forwards, it rotates around, right? We have beyond a regular joint. So it can technically hit ridiculous points of articulation with that alone. We do have a bicep swivel here, just like with our upper arms. We have a beautiful double joint. We have a hand that can rotate around and it's really, really tight. So there it is, there it is. We have articulated fingers as well. So you can, and then they rotate out as well. So you can actually get crazy movement here on the hand right one thing i want to talk about is be careful back here when you are these can actually tab out i actually broke one of my tabs so it'll wiggle a little bit you'll see that and that is because I've, i was doing too much i was doing too much y'all trying to be fascinated with everything we have flaps that open up here in the front and outwards to the sides that means you can get crazy articulation here right back flaps open up as well too just be careful with it, like I said. And then we have our leg articulation, which gets a little tricky. So as you can see here, we have a beautiful movement here, right? Rotates all the way through. You can actually rotate it like that. So that way you can be like on hind legs, right? Or hind feet, I should say. Then we have our joint that rotates inward, right? So there we have that. We have that beautiful joint there. 
And you can kind of make him look like a cool new stance here with that. So let's actually do it again on this one. Like I said, these joints are very, very tight. We're gonna just rotate them both in. As you can see here, it's fighting me back. There's also an ankle drop as well. So with all of that being, you can actually get this nice movement here in the knee section. All of that, you still can rotate outward. You still have thigh swivel as well. And you have ankle pivot. So you can pivot left and right as well. So if you wanna have some crazy articulation, I'm gonna show you something. Because you still have your forward ab crunch that you had before on Vulcan, right? And it holds the weight of the whole figure, which is wild. Then you can rotate left and right. See, I told you I broke that cap off. So I'm gonna move that over. But you can also rotate left and right. So let's do that real quick. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna break anything else because I like these. <laughs> See, it's really, really tight in there. And as far as the last thing, we're gonna, I should have gone over this first. Our neck articulation is just as mobile. I didn't mean to cut that on. So yeah. Let's see if he can hold the weight of his arm and his leg all the way out with a wild kick. I'm just gonna be stupid here and just kind of have some fun but we're gonna test it. So yeah, my hands are here. As you can see here, he's holding it all on his own with his own weight. So it's stuff like that, that it kinda, it's crazy to me that Astrobots can do this with, with what they've engineered so far. And a lot of their figures are actually really dope in that matter. So you can do a lot of cool poses, but again, it's all about fitting that space, how you want to work out that articulation so like we rotate this here i just want to do some cool poses say you're doing a power up fist so yeah look just like that so it's cool stuff like this that makes me really enjoy this line as I can get really creative with it. And I should have fixed the hands, but it looking crazy like that just looks cool too. <laughs> but yeah. Would I recommend this line for beginners? It's yes. Yes, I would. But it's a tough curve at first as there is a lot of stuff to do with it and mechanical and moving parts. But I feel like once you get comfortable, this is a very enjoyable robot line, especially for you Bionicle fans. I feel like Bionicle fans would have a fantastic time with this, but... With all that being said, it doesn't come with any accessory. In the box, it comes like this, ready to go, big old robot. So there's no accessory. So we're gonna skip that part, go straight into the size comparisons. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, now we're gonna jump into the size compare. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we were gonna jump into the size comparison. Let's wait and see what buttermilk does. It's buttermilk time. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, jumping back down. Oh, you're going to jump back down or are we going to get butt all day? So as I try to do a size comparison, the first thing I'm going to do is going to move in Vulcan so we can see our differences between our two bots outside of our sculpts here. So you can see we have our two and Buttermilk is still beside me being Buttermilk. Please don't knock stuff down. Hi, buddy. Come on. Thank you. I got you back. So here we are with both Vulcan and Hyperion. I moved the arms out of the way because I know it's a lot for both of them right now. And you can technically both get these configurations, but as you can see here, chest wise, we have some differences. We have some new articulation in the knees for that knee bend that we did not originally get on Vulcan. I also forgot we do have a toe hinge here. So I wanna talk about that as well. And uh, yeah, although they are similar, they are big differences outside of the big chunky arms, just style wise as well. We have a, yes, buddy. We also have a slightly thicker waist and one that's harder to pose. <laughs> so yeah, we have that and they look really nice. Now, when I take away Vulcan, we can talk about Apollo, our first Astrobot that got released. And it's like, I've had these guys for such a quite a long time and it's so cool that they still hold up well. And it's it's nice to have them. Like it's, it's cool to see it. But as you can see here, 
my man has a significant height difference over Apollo. And if I remember correctly, some of these, I don't know if they're supposed to scale with 118 scale stuff, but I'll bring out some 118 scale stuff to compare with it as well. I still have to read the Astrobots comic. Ugh, I've been meaning to get around to that as well. And here we are with Athenia, who is on the smaller side, and that's why I wanted to save her. If you can compare her up to it. And as you can see here, she is the smallest Astrobot so far. That's not like an add-on pack because we have the add-on uh, weapons packs. So she's the smallest bot so far, right? Let's take these two away. Then we can compare to some other stuff. Uh, let's do the 118 stuff first. So here we are with a Joy Toy Warhammer figure. And these are larger than normal 118 scale. That's why I chose them. And then we have a Joy Toy normal 118 scale. So you can see just how much bigger they are than a normal 118 scale. You can see like that's that's a big bot. Let's take these guys away. Then we can compare to some other stuff. So here we are with a Valorous Republic Guard. If you want to do some one toe scale stuff, six inch class. Here we are with my main man, Mezco Ichigo. He's appearing early in this one because I'm just going on stuff stacked from the last review. Right? Take these guys away. Then we do a Marvel Legends. So here's a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Then we have a Cosmic Legions Sligor Riz. And I feel like Sligor Riz works in like the the crazy robot slash industrial part of all this. Looks really good. So there you have it. I think that about sums up most of this, right? We have a nice little comparison there. So yeah, if you like your mix of bots with a little bit of other stuff, you want to mix your scales. I think like this is going to be really nice, especially if you like the Vulcan. You'll really, really like this guy. But I highly suggest you give it some shock oil if you think those joints are too tight. Because trust me, it's like, it's a little scary. I won't even lie. Oh, last but not least, my main man, 50 grand. SH Figure Arts Cougar. So you can see how SHF kind of stacks out. That's for fun. But yeah, most of all, I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this line. I don't think I've I've had one of these where it wasn't fun and beautiful. So I'm, I'm really hoping to get have some more fun with these. I want to do a bunch of him punching stuff. What is he going to punch? I'm not sure yet, but I'll figure that out along the way. But in the meantime, I want to say thank you. I want to say I appreciate you guys for watching my stuff, especially because I'm kind of doing a nice groove of the things that I want to do that make me feel better. You guys have been vibing with it, and I appreciate that. Um, the numbers aren't high, but it's not really about the numbers. It's about finding people who enjoy what you enjoy. And, and the numbers from that actually make me very happy because it makes me realize like even with small concentrated numbers you have people who enjoy and that's been dope yes buttermilk so i'm gonna go tend to buttermilk because he just woke up and obviously he's hungry uh so you guys as always please treat yourself right and treat others right but most of all please continue to be good do good and drink water guys later